day 1B of the main event and we are about to play. It is crazy hot out here. But before we go in and do that, we got to tell you about what's been going on over the past week or so in the World Series of Poker. <laughs> So last video, you may remember, Grant was still alive in the Monster Stack, as was our guest, Matt Vaughn. Yep. Time for an update, let's see how they did. We both cashed, which was great. Matt did a little better than me, though. Congratulations to Matt, he got something like 35th or 40th, I don't know, he made yeah. 20K. I basically min plus cashed for about 3K, which was very disappointing, <laughs> but we were very proud of Matt. And yeah. we're also proud of some of you, because some of our listeners have done very well recently, including Danny Sprung, he did the best of all. He got so what, far. 11th in the Monster Stack or something, 12? 74K. Congratulations to you. It's because you watch Poker Guys stuff, obviously. <laughs> um, also, there's our friend from Portland and another listener, Jacqueline Burkhart. Yeah, she finished fifth in the ladies' event. Fifth out of like, I don't know, 800, 900 yeah. players, something like that. It was very impressive for about $27,000. Really nice score for her. She played great. Jessica Dolly was the eventual winner who's like big time pro. She was on Jackie's left the whole time too, which made it tougher. Great job, Jackie. So we've been here at the World Series for about a month and we definitely have some things we liked a lot and things we really didn't like. Yeah. Here's one of our favorite things about the World Series this year. Big blind ante, it is the best. It is when the big blind pays the ante for the entire table. It usually starts pretty early in the tournament and everybody seems pretty fine with it, yeah. right Jonathan? everybody. It's amazing because we don't have to deal with the dealers doing bad math. We don't have to deal with the slow player who's always putting it in last. The only issue is that the big blind ante has to be the exact change. And that can be a little bit of an issue, but they're going to fix that over time. It's going to be yeah. fine. It's not going to be a problem. Another thing that's great that you never run into anymore is who missed their ante? Who didn't ante? That's never an issue because only one person antes. It's always right. It always happens. It's faster. It saves about an hour in these in daily tournaments every single day. It's awesome. Everybody seems to love it, like Grant's saying. Even new I people. Love it. Tourists love it. Old people love it, young people love it. It's a winner, we endorse it. My favorite thing that I played so far this year is the 3K Big Blind Annie at the World Series of Poker. And strategies change a little bit, which is interesting, right? You're incentivized to shove a little lighter under the gun because you don't have as much time. Yeah. You're incentivized to shove a little less light, light position because you have seven full hands, a full orbit. Right. The way I busted, you can hear about on our podcast because it was kind of a joke based on that strategy. <laughs> if you want to hear more about that, you got to check out our most recent podcast. But definitely Big Blind Annie is the thing we love about the series this year. So you know that we love the Big Blind Annie, but there's definitely some stuff that we hate about the World Series of Poker that's happening this year. It's kind of a trend, not amongst what the, the World Series of Poker is doing, but what the players are doing, right, Jonathan? And Jonathan's been experiencing it heavily, especially when he's been playing his mega satellites. Let me just say something, people. Yeah, say it. There is an epidemic okay. here at the World Series of Poker. And this it sounds pretty serious. Over tanking. There's no need for this. So look, I understand it's okay to take Look at your cards, think about the situation, that's perfectly fine. Sometimes situations are complicated, they're stack sizes, someone maybe is raised, you wanna know what's going on, that's reasonable. Yeah. But I see too many things like, someone goes all in for a lot, someone else is next to act with a bunch of people behind them and they look at one card really slowly, they put it down, they look around, they ask how much it is, then they look at the other card, <laughs> then they look at both cards, then they think for a while, then they pick up their cards because they know they're not playing, and they start to fold, and they wait a moment, <laughs> and then they throw them away. And look, if that's once every 20 times or 10 times, that's fine. But if it's every single time in the situation, which I've seen with many players, you're killing me. You know what? You are Dracula, you're taking my blood. All right, here's the thing. Yeah. I think you should, you should keep doing it, because <laughs> the, look at what it's so doing to it Jonathan. Is, I tilt inside so hard. Yeah, so I mean, maybe so it's actually hard. something that I love about how much it tilts Jonathan, <laughs> and we should, we should celebrate it instead of disparage it. Don't Perhaps do Perhaps that's it. a good idea. Please stop. Please, I'm begging. <laughs>
Now you've heard about the week. Now it's time to get serious and play the damn main event. It's unusual in that it's a crazy good structure. Yeah. Grant, what are your thoughts about how you want to play in this structure more or less I mean, on day one? There's really no reason to bust day one unless you get coolered, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen to either of us because, I mean, you know, we want to go deep in this thing, obviously. Yeah. Let's get out of this heat. Let's go play. All right, sounds good. All right. See you there, maybe.